So far we've gone through uh, wild dogs, uh, deer, foxes, goats. Now let's, jeez, there's this guy. I reckon if there's one animal in Australia that's invasive, that impacts our native animals more than anything else, it is this guy here. Now I'm not a cat specialist. Um, I understand how, how much they impact our native animals, um, but I've got some figures here. I'm not particularly good. I don't have them in my head, so I'm going to read them out to you. Here are some scary figures on feral cats. Feral cats kill more than 1.5 billion native animals per year. 1.5 billion per year. Um, I've shot a few cats over my time with a rifle when I've been doing field work. Every time I've cut them open, I used to do diet studies on feral pigs, so I'm cutting open stomach isn't anything surprising to me. I'd cut open their stomachs and you would quite often find four or five animals, skinks or mammals, in their stomachs, undigested. So they've just eaten those in the last few hours. If you looked at their whole tract, I guarantee you'd probably find 20, 30, 40 different animals in their digestive tract at one time. So feral cats kill 1.5 billion native animals per year. They are incredibly destructive. Um, now, they've been tamed for about 4,000 years, cats have. Um, they've been tamed or they've tamed us. Who knows? One way or another, we love cats as, as a whole. There's 2.8 million feral cats in Australia. Have a think about this. There are 4 million pet cats in Australia. There's only about 25 million people. But there are 4 million pet cats in Australia. Now, on average, every cat in the bush, so every feral cat, kills... Uh, each cat in the bush kills 740 animals a year. So each one of those 2.8 million feral cats kills about 740 animals per year. So that's about two or three animals a day at least. Now that's an average. So that means some are lower and some are higher. So I wouldn't be surprised if some animals are getting up to 10 native species per day, which is just ridiculous. Um, when I was bow hunting once, I went out to a, a, a dam on a cattle station in the afternoon. I knew there was pigs coming in the water. Walked up to this dam. Here's a cat sleeping on the corner of this dam, down the bottom of the water, just right next to the water line. It wakes up because a flock of pigeons fly to the top of the dam. It wakes up as they as they um, as they fly and land. This cat goes from being asleep to being awake to hunting mode. Stalks up the the wall of the dam and sprints at one of these pigeons and gets a pigeon. And I reckon within about 15 seconds of it waking up. That's how long it took. They're incredibly, incredibly successful, and they're just a-holes. They're pretty much just big a-holes in, in the bush. So, Now, the scary thing is, while our feral cats kill about 740 animals a year, on average, each pet cat of ours kills about 75 native animals per year. And a lot of these go unseen by the owners. Now, even though uh, feral cats, um, urban, sorry, urban cats or pet cats kill fewer animals, because of their density in cities, they are actually killing more per square kilometre than feral cats are. So our pet cats are actually doing just as much or more damage than feral cats in Australia. And that's why we all say, keep your cats inside at night time. And it's a big worry. Um, I reckon personally, cats are probably the number one threat to native species in Australia. Um, there's been a study done recently on feral animals um, worldwide. Um, and in Australia, our number one threat to, to, to our native species and extinction are invasive species. So we're talking cats, goats, um, donkeys, all of those. I personally think the worst of these is the feral cat. Um, incredibly cryptic, incredibly hard to see. I've seen them at places where they're really, really rare birds that are on the verge of extinction, just sleeping around their nests. Um, so the golden shoulder parrot up in Cape York went out once at night, I knew there was a feeding station for these golden-shouldered parrots. I looked around with my headlamp, picked up cat eye shine within a minute. Here's one just sleeping on an ant bed, ready to rock and roll. So really scary. Um, each day in Australia, uh, cats kill over 3.1 million mammals, 1.8 million reptiles, 1.3 million birds every day. That is every day. So really, really scary. Um, unfortunately, um, they also don't. So one of the benefits we often think of is that they're going to suppress native populations of rabbits, rats, and mice, so the feral ones. Unfortunately, that just provides a food source for them to flourish. So in bad years, remember, in bad years, or in average years, sorry, 2.8 million cats exist in Australia. 
in a good year where there's lots of rain, lots of prey animals, that, anim that number can boost quite easily. And so the mortality rate of kittens goes down. So lots more kittens survive because there's lots more food around. Cat populations go up. Our native animals really suffer. So yeah, these guys are bad. Take your kitty cats inside at night, folks. That's the takeaway.